What's up everyone, Criddle here again with another Lorcana deck. Um, this deck is just something that I kind of made up and put together based on some cards that I saw and I was like, this could be a really cool synergy. Uh, so I figured I would throw it out there. It's also very, very cheap to make. This is probably one of the cheapest decks I have ever seen. Uh, because the cards are just cards that you usually don't use, but when you combine them together, they make uh, a kind of a fun synergy. Um, I do not believe this is going to be the greatest deck in the world, so I would not go to a competition with this, but it could be a very fun deck for playing at a local game shop for like a theme night. Uh, or, you know, just to kind of catch someone off uh, by surprise, I guess, um, where they're not really expecting this deck to appear. Uh, so we're going to go over it real quick like uh, we have a Cinderella and a Minnie Mouse here. These two uh, do a couple of things for you. One is they both have Singer 3 on them. So it's a one cost card with a Singer 3. And this is a two cost card with a Singer 3. This also has whenever you play a bodyguard, you may remove up to two damage from them for this uh, when you have this Minnie Mouse out. And we do have several bodyguard characters. We have Baloo here. We have Donald Duck. And those might be the only two. So we got a couple of uh, bodyguard characters and you want to put those out to protect the rest of your characters. The main character you're trying to protect here is going to be this Bruno. And uh, I don't know if you've seen this card before, but it's a really cool effect on it. It says name a card, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's the name card, put the top, uh, put the card into your hand and gain three lore. Otherwise, you put it back on the top of your deck. So the goal here is to be able to know exactly what is going to be on top of your deck all the time. Uh, and then you can al you're always going to be drawing cards and gaining three lore whenever you have this Bruno out. So you have four of those, obviously, in your deck. I put four of everything. You could obviously, you know, change this around a little bit and, and move some different characters if you don't want to have four of all these different types of things in here. But... That is the main goal, is to use your Donald, your Baloo, to protect. Uh, both of these gain lore for you. This one gains two lore whenever uh, the Baloo is banished, and this one gains one lore um, this turn when you play this character. So you would play this character and then give it to, say, like, uh, where's the one I'm looking for? Right here, whenever this character quests, you look at the top card of your deck, and you put it in either the top or bottom of your deck. So you would just put this out, like, on turn two. You would put this out on turn three and quest uh, to give this one plus one lore to quest with. And then you would quest with this character. Uh, this is actually the one we probably should swap that out and make this deck even cheaper because I didn't even realize this is the event one. Uh, you could get another one. Uh, but that would give that one two lore, and then you would also see the top card. And then you would say, okay, I know what the top card is. And then you would call it out for the Bruno card. So you would name a character or name a, uh, a card based on what you just saw from this card. And you see how those would work together. Um, Dr. Falcier is the same thing. Whenever you play a song, you may look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one on the top of your deck and the other on the bottom. This allows you to kind of put those more expensive cards, which you don't really have expensive cards in this. The most expensive is going to be a four. So you could add in some expensive cards. Um, but I would say this allows you to see two cards. Hopefully if you see a Bruno, uh, then you're going to want to put that on top, obviously. And you'll put a different card on the bottom. And then you're trying to get as many of these Brunos out as you can, because then if you can get, you know, two of them out, that's six lore per turn and you draw a card whenever you quest with it. So that's basically how that would work. This card does kind of the same thing. Whenever this character quests, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a song card, you may play it for free. Otherwise, put it on top of your deck. So this is a twofold card. Uh, I have a lot of songs in here. We'll go over in just a second. So this would allow you to play a song card for free. And if it's not a song card, you know what it is. So then you could use it for the Bruno questing, right? So you would play this card or quest with this card, get a song card, potentially play it for free, uh, put it back. And then one of your Brunos would be this. Then you could quest with uh, Yuzuma and then, you know, get another one and if you have multiple Brunos out and you can continue to do that. Um, then you come down here to the different songs. Uh, so this one is look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back on the top in any order. So then you could have three cards in a row and you can know exactly what they are. So if you played this, for example, and you had three Brunos out, you could put them in a certain order and then you could 
exert this, name a card, exert another one, name a card, exert another one, name a card. There's nine lore right there. Um, real quick and easy. Uh, same thing for all these other, uh, not this one, but uh, these other ones is um, return a character from your discard pile. So if somebody takes out your Bruno card, you can return up to four of those to your pile. That's good. So you have potentially eight of these Brunos into your deck. Uh, you can reduce the damage that other ones do and draw a card. So it's another way that you can draw a little bit. You reduce uh, two characters damage by one so that you can use some of these other characters because you don't have a lot of high damage uh, and your um, uh, bodyguard characters only have three willpower each. So the goal here is to reduce their damage when you attack them and then when you play a bodyguard character, hopefully you have a mini out and you can heal those characters back up. So that's kind of the, uh, the play there. Come down here to friends on the other side. Just draw two cards. So, you know, that's one of the ones that you get it for free. Cool. If you don't get it for free, you can still play these with your Cinderella or Minnie Mouse. You can sing with either of those uh, when these pop out. So it's another way to draw a couple of cards. You could probably take out these draw cards like this one right here. Um, and I think there was, wasn't there another one? This one right here, which also draws a card. You could take those out if you wanted to because your Bruno is going to be essentially allowing you to draw a card every time you gain lore. So it just depends on if you're getting enough cards or not. I say have this in because an extra two cards can be nice. Um, and then this right here, the boss is on a roll. It allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order on the top or bottom. So you could say, oh, you know, I want these three to be on the top in this order. These two I don't need for the rest of this game most likely. So I'm gonna put them on the bottom in this other order. Uh, or you could put all five on top in a specific order. And then you could quest, you know, with Bruno and just get a lot of, um, uh, a lot of lore very quickly over a couple of turns because you know exactly what's coming for the next five cards. So that's basically how that would work. And then these last two items here, you have the Sorcerer's Hat and Ursula's Cauldron, which also allow you to look at the top card or the top two cards uh, for the Ursula's Cauldron is look at the top two cards of your deck and put one on top and one on the bottom. And then the Sorcerer's Hat is you do have to pay one um, ink to look at the or name a card and then reveal it. So this allows you to basically name a card, reveal it if you already know it. Uh, so if, if it's the name card, the card uh, goes into your hand. Otherwise, uh, it goes on the top of your deck. So you could then do Ursula's Cauldron, see the top two cards, and then just name a card here. Like if you don't have a Bruno out, for example, and you don't want to use the Bruno, that's the, the goal here is saying, okay, well, I've got on turn two, I can have the Sorcerer's Hat out and then I might want to be able to look at some of those cards and it allows you to draw more cards that way. So the whole goal of this, essentially, we'll just sum it up very quickly, is to protect your Bruno and get out these items down here and then use everything else to see what order your cards come in and draw those cards and then continue to play those cards. Uh, there's a lot of inkable cards in this. You have 48 out of the 60 are inkable, so you have plenty of inkable cards. You might want to get a few more characters. This is only a little over half for characters. Uh, you might want to see if you can look at getting some more of those, maybe get rid of a couple of the draw cards and add a couple of characters, maybe add a couple of more uh, bodyguard characters, but the problem is is that you're not going to have a lot of bodyguard characters in Amethyst or Amber. Uh, these are the two best ones for that, in my opinion. I think there might be one or two others that are out there, but they really don't do a whole lot. So you could change up this deck a little bit um, and you know make it work a little bit better for you. But fun little deck to play with, it's something different, something that I haven't seen a lot of. And uh, something that maybe your local game store would be like, whoa, that's a really cool deck and want to play against you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please come on over to the Twitch channel in the old time. I do stream uh, every single day except for Fridays. Uh, we talk about Lorcana. We play a bunch of variety of uh, other games. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.